Good morning to you all and welcome for the word of God and the reflection today. We are in the seventh week of the Easter Friday. Let us listen to the gospel of the day. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter answered him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. It's very interesting to note that during the public ministry of Jesus, Jesus had a pronounced Peter as the rock upon which he would build his church. But later, Peter denied Jesus three times. Yet after his resurrection, Jesus reaffirms his appointment as his vicar. This shows us that, in spite of Peter's unfaithfulness, Jesus remained faithful to his words. Despite of Peter's denials, despite of Peter's failure to stand by the Lord in his difficult times, Jesus still counted on Peter. Jesus, by asking Peter three times, confirms about his love for him and enters his mission to him, saying, feed my sheep. This makes it very clear that Jesus builds his church not on the strength of the perfect people, but on the foundation of love they have for Jesus. So Peter is an example for all of us that is, despite of our weaknesses and failures, we can still love God. In the post-resurrection appearance, Jesus did not ask Peter, why you denied me? But rather Jesus asked him, do you love me? Our God is not interested about our past sins, rather he is concerned about our present love for him. The Lord looks not our failures, not, not look at our wrongdoings, but love that we have for him. Hence, Lord gives us another opportunity just as he gave to Peter. Our faults and our failures should not dis disappoint us in life when we show our love for God and he will show us his power in our weaknesses. So dear brothers and sisters, let us not lose our hope but believe in the love of Jesus that he loves us in spite of our limitations and failures. Let us pray.
O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me and guide me, strengthen me and console me. Tell me what I ought to do and command me to do it. I promise to submit to everything that you ask of me and to accept all that you allow me to happen to me. Just, just show me what is your will. Our Lady of Fatima, please pray for us and be with us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are ye among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.